Welcome, Discovery Kids Online. Today, it's all about walls. I... Okay. Walls? Walls. 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 Uh, I'll ask. Okay. okay. What about walls? Oh! Yeah. The walls around Jerusalem were a mess. Oh, well, yeah. When King Nebuchadnezzar attacked, he destroyed them. Well, yeah, but now God's people are back. And they started rebuilding everything. Yes. Yes, they rebuilt their houses, God's altar, even the temple. Ah, but there's something they haven't rebuilt yet. Walls. walls. <laughs> Today, it's all about walls. 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 And now. Professor Wentworth is going to explain the historical importance of walls. Professor Wentworth. Yes, yes, thank you. Many ancient cities would choose their locations based on their natural defenses, such as rivers, mountains, you understand. Oh, of course. Yes, but if there were no natural defenses, they would build walls. Oh, why, Professor? Well, to protect themselves, obviously. Uh, from, from what? Oh, from... Wild beasts. Are you kidding me? This is what, where's Hank when you need him? See? Wild, wild beasts. Roar. Or thieves. Oh, thieves, which is very serious. Uh, excuse me. She took that. She did. She stole it. Oh. Or even from their enemies. Ah! Very fierce. Oh. So. There you go. So having really strong walls is really important? Oh, more than important. Oh. Walls were vital to survival. The walls rebuilt from the book of Nehemiah chapters one through six. God's people had lived in exile for 70 years. 70 long years. But. God kept his promise, and they got to go home. Yeah, let's do it, come on, go! But not everyone went back home. You know, I've kind of always liked it here. One of the people who stayed behind was Nehemiah. <laughs> Nehemiah worked for the king of Persia. <gasps> as a cupbearer. One day, some travelers from Judah arrived in the kingdom. It's so long. We're almost there, right? Nehemiah went to the travelers from Judah. <laughs> travelers, yes. Hey, guys, guys, how's it going for God's people? What's the word from Jerusalem? Not good. Not, Not good. good. The people are in so much trouble. <sighs> but really? Why? Well, because the walls around Jerusalem are a mess. Oh, they're broken and destroyed. Yeah, and the gates are all burned. Mm -hmm. This news was so upsetting to Nehemiah, and he cried. <laughs> it's so sad. Like, those are my people. This is my city. <laughs> and then he prayed. <laughs> Nehemiah was so worried about Jerusalem and God's people that even the king noticed. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you seem upset. Uh, I, I, I am. I'm, I'm sorry, my king. What's wrong? Why are you sad? Nehemiah was afraid you were not supposed to be sad around the king. Uh, uh, you, you see, my king, Jerusalem, the, the city of my ancestors, it's, it's not going well for them. The, the walls are, are, are torn down and the, and the gates are burned. I see. Nehemiah, what is it that you want? Before he answered, Nehemiah prayed. Okay. Oh, my king, please let me go back and, and help my people rebuild the walls and, and, and fix the gates. Done. Wait, seriously? Seriously, go rebuild those walls. Oh, oh thank you so much. So Nehemiah traveled to Jerusalem. In Jerusalem, Nehemiah checked out those walls. Oh, man. 
What a mess! And he led the people to start rebuilding. Whoa, all right, you guys, come on, come on. We're gonna rebuild those walls. Yeah! And we're gonna fix those gates. Yeah! All right, let's do it! the stones, they filled holes, they rebuilt those walls. Oh, check it out. These guys are working side by side. Awesome. And soon, the walls were half as tall as they used to be. Now, not everybody was happy that God's people were rebuilding the walls around Jerusalem. No, 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 no. no. In fact, many of the people who lived nearby were angry. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, yep. But did that stop God's people? But uh, I should have. Yeah, yeah. Um, guys, just so you know, it didn't. Oh, oh man. God's people kept rebuilding, but their enemies <laughs> made a plan to attack them and stop them. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Nehemiah and God's people. <laughs> All right. They prayed. Then they picked men to guard the walls. Okay, uh, you and you and you and you. I want you on that wall. I need you on that wall. Okay. okay. Oh, guys, uh, what's the matter? We've got enemies. <laughs> Everywhere. Oh, but guys, remember, God is great, and God is awesome, and he fights for your families. Yeah? Yeah, yeah God is with you. Yeah? Yeah, so get out there and guard those walls and keep building. Yeah! yeah. Our enemies are not in charge of rebuilding these walls. God is. Oh, yeah! God's people kept working. We did! Many stood guard. Yeah! Grr. Others worked. Yeah. yeah! Oh, yeah! And some held a tool in one hand and a weapon in the other. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. They were ready for anything. Bring it on! Nehemiah! He was a good leader. No, oh, I mean it. Wise, hardworking, and you cared so much for God's people. Well, true. And in just 52 days, the walls were done. What? what? That's, That's really amazing. amazing. That's you healthy. guys heard me, 52 days, and it wasn't just the walls. The gates were fixed too. Whoa. Whoa! And when God's enemies heard this, they were afraid. Why? Why? Because they knew that God was with his people. He is, you know. The end! Walls, walls, walls! So, so important. important! Yes, and God wanted the walls around Jerusalem fixed to keep his people safe. And he picked somebody pretty special to make that happen. Nehemiah! Yes! And Nia Maya did it! <laughs> Way to go. Thanks. Now, God, he wants us to be with him one day, and he sent someone pretty special to make sure that happened. Jesus! Yes, because Jesus came, died on the cross, and then rose again. We have a way to have our sins forgiven and be with God one day. Oh, yeah! Hey, take a minute and answer this question. Thanks for joining us, you guys. Hey, check out some of our other Bible story videos and our worship videos, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye. Does it look like they're kind of surrounding Jill? She looks like she's on Sesame Street. Okay, Yay! we know where we're going.